Thank you so much for tuning back into Van News Live, taking a look at downtown Fargo. We are continuing to have those clear skies, but otherwise for some of our conditions, we're sitting at 61 degrees with those winds out of the north northeast at six miles an hour. Still with some humid and that those muggy conditions with our humidity sitting at 87 percent. But for everyone else, like I said, we do have that dense fog advisory issued for most of us until 10 a.m. tomorrow. This does include that Cass and Clay County area and even stretching into areas like Monoman, Norman and Polk counties, including areas even into our eastern part of Minnesota overnight tonight until 10 a.m. tomorrow once again. Now for some of our visibility issues, some are already having some visibility issues. Areas like Langdon have five miles, but Baudette and Bemidji, this is where we've been having some of those fog issues already today. Right now we have Baudette with four miles, Brainerd at six, but Bemidji, you are still just at 0.3 miles for your visibility right now. But for those temperatures, most of us are still sitting in those 50s and 60s. A few of us are in those low 50s, especially with Bemidji at 50 degrees, Rosso at 54, Langdon at 50, Grand Forks at 58. But we still do have a few of us like Alexandria sitting at 65 degrees. But we're still having that temperature difference. Most of us are still on the cooler side. We have areas like Grand Forks, Fargo and Bemidji 11 to 13 degrees cooler today just than what we were at 1015 yesterday afternoon and evening. But for that satellite radar, we're still tracking a few scattered showers and some thunderstorms down near that Douglas County area after this is some of the storms we saw this morning for most of us. But overnight tonight, those showers are going to continue to push down throughout the valley and even into areas of south and eastern part of Minnesota. But tomorrow morning, like I said, we're going to see those temperatures on the cooler side in those 40s with that fog. Now this fog is part of the issue. We have that dense fog advisory issued, causing that low visibility to continue to persist overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. But for those temperatures, they are going to be on the cooler side into those 40s. But by the time the sun already arrives, we're going to have those temperatures already in those 60s just by your lunchtime. If you are headed to the NDSU football game, we're going to have temperatures in those 70s by the time you are getting to the game with those clearing conditions. But we're still going to have those breezy easterly winds. But for your tailgate forecast, like I said, we're going to have NDSU play and that kickoff is going to be at 1 p.m. tomorrow against the South Dakota Coyotes, but for your tailgating forecast, we're going to have those clearer conditions, but we do have a chance of fog in the morning with temperatures already by the time kickoff is going to start getting into those 70 degree mark with some unsettled weather returning as we start off the next week on Monday and Tuesday. We have that chance for some stronger storms that will continue to linger into Wednesday and even into the early Thursday hours. Otherwise, for your proceed three day farming forecast, we are going to have temperatures on the warmer side this weekend with 83 degrees on Sunday, 82 on Monday, still with some breezier conditions and those chances of some showers and some storms. But as the week continues to progress, we're going to have temperatures on the cooler side in those 50s. And then Alex, even by the beginning of the week after on the 8th, Temperatures for your mornings are going to be in the 30s and 40s. Ooh. So pretty soon here, if you love the heat, enjoy the weekend this weekend in the 80s. But otherwise, the 30s and fall is really going to start to kick in. It is going to be a rude awakening for me. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. <laughs>